Kommer natten Stille Over jorda I mitt säng Gick du där Kom
Det er sånn Det skal ta her på koppen, jeg har sett Det er Ja, So when people entered Borg, they would come through this fjord, you can't really see it, but they would come into this part of the fjord, which looks more like a lake. And then they would go aboard around here. There is Arctic, which means that, for example, you will see a lot of these tiny flowers at this time of year. Later on, they will turn into yellow berries that we call multir. The first site at Borg was built around the year 400. By the way, Borg means fortress. And the first big longhouse that was built was about 40 meters long, quite big for that time. Around the year 500, a larger hall was built, about 60 meters long. And we know that even as early as this, people had contact with uh, other countries in the continent because they have found imported goods such as glass. And glass was really precious in, the, in, the, in this time, in the Iron Age and the Viking Age because we did not produce glass here. We did not produce glass, so glass was more expensive than gold actually. Only for the really rich people who could afford trading with the lands of the south. 
around the year 600, an even larger hall was built. From here we can see the, the fjord through which the ships would enter into the kingdom of Hålogaland's center, Borg. Around the year 700, the largest of all the halls was built. This was just before the Viking Age, and here you can see it on a distance, from a distance. This hall was 83 meters long. Obviously this is a reconstruction, it's now a museum. Inside and around in the area you will find people dressed up as people from the Viking Age. And this is meant to educate people. The hall was divided into three parts. This part you see here was originally the part where the animals lived. By animals I mean horses and cows basically. It could contain about between 50 to 80 cows and horses this, uh, this part of the hall. This was common in the Viking Age to share the house with animals. Sheep and goats and pigs they were outside all year. The middle part of the hall was the feast hall, Gildehall. This was where they had well, parties, political meetings, religious meetings. And the end of the hall, back over there, that would belong that would belong to the chief, the king, his family, his household his champions, his most important warriors, and his craftsmen and servants. So it could possibly have contained around 50 to 80 people and 50 to 80 animals at the most. So the hall at Borg was like a castle of the Viking Age. It roots into the deep Iron Age. It had its, it was at its largest between 700 and 900 and around the year 900 somewhat before it was actually just abandoned why because of a king called Harald Herfir actually his real name uh, was Harald Halfdansson Luva Luva means filter hair but they sort of polish his name a bit later it is believed that the last king of Borg was called Olaf Tvennumbruni and he is mentioned in the Land Norma book, which is the book about the settlement of Iceland. Iceland, you see, was discovered by Vikings in around the year 872. But when this one king, Harald Herfer, wanted to uh, make all of Norway into one kingdom, the chiefs of Hålogaland and many other people, it is believed as much as one-fifth of the Norwegian population, they left and emigrated to settle Iceland, where they created a democratic republic without any kings at all. Now, inside this hall, they are serving a really, really tasty sod, which means a sort of mutton and vegetable soup. And they also serve mead. So I'm going to try.
This is the high seat. Constructed pillar of the god Thor, god of thunder. Thank you. 